Well, I cut paper. I use a laser to cut multiple layers of vector drawings. As I'm drawing, I'm thinking about the negative space in its absence, creating physical space as they're stacked on top of each other. I was working on a project where I was cutting uh, Cheerios boxes. I says, you know what, I could really get in tight and cut these things with a laser and kind of raise the banal, more or less be absurd. That's all I had on that one. So I was leaving the, the lab one day and I had stacked a bunch of test runs on top of each other and I, I kind of went to leave and I looked at it and I was like, wow, the complexity of the multiple layers all of a sudden just grabbed me. I thought, geez, there is something here. Could I be conscious of drawing on those multiple layers at one time and think about a whole composition with depth? I knew there was something interesting here. I was using a uh, different part of my brain to draw. I started copying Gothic and Islamic architectural ornamentation just as some place to go. I copied, basically ripped off the geometry. I made some straight up copies, but for the most part I was riffing on the math, sort of like folk math really. The reverence for these structures um, seemed to have to do with the infinite. It's almost like it's trying to reach for the infinite. You know, it's trying to project something that is not even human. In that reverence, I thought, wow, I wonder if I could just not only borrow the geometry, but borrow that reverence. Could I actually bring the scale and the massiveness of a cathedral and, and put it here? Most people think, oh, you have technology, uh, you gain an efficiency, um, and the price is you're humanly removed from the object. I think I'm coming around a different way. I feel very connected to this, maybe because I'm, you know, I'm right in there breathing on it. Every efficiency that I gain through technology, the void is immediately filled with a question, can I make it more complex?